Hi guys, I'm just doing a very quick reading on a missing person from 2004 out of Vermont by the name of Brianna Maitland. She was 17 years old. This is a fairly well-known case. Um, I will leave a link in the description box for you to learn more about her case. But for right now, I'm just going to go directly to what happened to her and um, if she'll be found. So I'm looking at what the cards and spirit can tell me through the cards. Holy Spirit, what happened to Brianna Maitland? What caused her to disappear? What caused Brianna to disappear. She had left work. She had two part-time jobs and was 17 years old. Um, she was trying to be independent and she left at 11.30 from a bed and breakfast, I think, that she washed dishes for and went to go home because she had to work at a diner the next morning. So um, somewhere not far from or long from after she left work, her vehicle was found just not even a few miles or maybe five minutes or very short distance uh, away from where she would have been heading home, the route that she would have taken. And it was backed into this old abandoned home, farm home, which has since burned down from vandals in, in 2019, unfortunately. But uh, there's just so many intriguing parts of this story. And it's I know it's solvable. I feel it. But I just sense that this is a small place and people have kept quiet. Okay, what caused, why did Bri Brianna go missing? Why? I get the three of pentacles. This is involvement of more than one person. So right away, when I get this kind of a card from when I've read on people, it's a way of telling me this isn't just one person. There are at least two other people who probably um, assisted that person either afterward or they knew of it, so on and so forth. But there's, there's more than one person involved here. It's a small group. Okay. And I get the 10 of wands. This is wanting to me to, well, I'm sorry, excuse me, wanting, I believe, to do something really seriously heavy and with regard to her. The Ten of Wands is the heaviest. It is so much pressure. It is wanting to just really... make something unbearable for somebody. And there's more than one person that has stood by an individual, I feel, with regard to their actions. Okay. Now I get the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. Um, this is an adult woman. And she's connected somehow to a fight, argument, jealousy, physical fighting. Okay. We're talking assault. Um, there is violence here. And... 
Then we get the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. There is, it almost feels like there was a jealousy. Uh, around intimate partners, intimacy. And I feel like that Ten of Cups is actually partying that feels like heavy substance. It's over the top. It's beyond excess. Then I get the moon and the two of pentacles. They're juggling, trying to hide her. Um, I believe there's a female that is in the know, knowledgeable about what happened to her and that there was violence, some kind of violence or assault. And we're getting the energy of intimacy and cover, you know, trying to, it's either trying to uh, act like a relationship is hunky dory and all smiles and happiness, but <clears throat> underneath there's, there's uh, violence. There's, there's another story. There's something deeper beneath the surface with an intimate relationship. I don't know. Just, okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'm getting a King of Cups and a Queen of Wands. There's a male and a female here. Uh, th this would be, these are adult people that are 21 and over. And they would be now, especially um, since time has gone on since 2004, that's 20 years ago. So, but I think it's referring to, and more than likely at the time as well, that these persons were um, adults and she was 17. So I'm getting somebody older than her, at least 21 or more with the, the males here that I have. Now, why I'm being shown this other female here, it makes me feel like, is this a female that's experienced some kind of um, violence in a relationship? And she knows the person responsible for doing this, like a girlfriend of somebody that did this, that kind of thing. There's a betrayal, the three of swords, and there's heartbreak, and there's betrayal, um, sorrow, and there's the knight of wands. It just Somebody's got a horrible temper here. And I'm really getting the energy of a male being very violent with women. And I don't think that Brianna has been the only one. Um, and I think that unfortunately he ended her life through violence that evening. And I think there are women that know either that they have been with this person or and they know of how they are. Okay, I'm getting the magician and the king of swords. This to me feels like investigation. This to me feels like the law and looking at how somebody would do this, how somebody would pull this off, 
more or less, like a magician pulls off a trick. Um, and this chessboard here in the the card, it, it it's strategic. And this makes me feel like that I'm being shown the law. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Now I'm getting judgment. This is holding people accountable. It's weird. The young lady on the card even looks like Brianna. Um, and you can see a woodland in the background. This is the second or third time uh, that I've gotten this card when I read on her. And tonight I started reading on her off camera and this card keeps coming up. And I, I, the hit that I got from it is that I think that she's been deposited in a wooded area where there's others that have also been left from other crimes from other people. I don't think related to her, but it may be an area of a woodland uh, that is known for being, excuse the expression, a dumping ground where they find bodies. And I feel like it's na natural, uh, uh, like a woodland because I, the message I kept getting with this card with her was I'm, I was left in a place where other people too have been uh, left, but from other things, you know, outside, not, it's not the same person, you know, it's a beautiful area. That card, the nine of, of pentacles is, goes with the um, judgment card. And so I'm getting a, like, it's a very scenic, natural area. This is having to leave. This is walking away. And the three of wands. This to me is whoever took her, I think, left the area and keeps an eye on the story. You know, keeps an eye on the future, keeps a watch. This is the law. This is justice. And something here with the law is strength. Is there... They are playing the long game, obviously, um, because they really muffed it up to begin with. But this is a good card because the law and strength, justice and strength, hold some feeling of promise to me for her with the pursuit of her case, actually. Now, let's see what we get next. I'm getting the... Uh, Emperor, and I'm getting the Nine of Wands. I'm feeling like this is an older male, older than her, and I feel like he's responsible. I, th this to me feels like the suspect. Uh, he might be known for carrying, and in Vermont, around that area, that's not unusual but I'm getting guns. And one of the first flashes that I got when I was looking at just a picture before I was even um, reading on her with the cards, I thought of a gun, but I, I kind of shelved it and thought, I'm not sure whether I'm just projecting that in there or not, but this is the second time I'm seeing a gun here in the images. So I, this person might, I think is someone that is known to carry. And I believe they're the ones responsible. Um, again, it's an, an older male at this point, but he's, he's aged. And I believe he was a lot older than her. Um, 
to begin with. This is injury for me with the nine of wands. And I just feel like this older man is responsible for injuring her and harassing her and pressuring her. There's somebody that just won't leave her the hell alone. Yeah, and for, and this is also this the second time I've gotten the, the Ten of Swords for her. Again, I feel like they ended her life, but I feel like she and that she did transition, fortunately, you know, um, over meted by met by family and so on and so forth. But this is a risk that was taken with the fool, new start after also a very hard cycle. And I believe that was also her after she trans transitioned. With regard to her ending, it would definitely have take, been a big risk that was taken. And I, I do believe someone intentionally took her out. That someone, there was an older male that had a thing with her. And he wouldn't let, let it go. I'm getting three of cups, the old party card, and I'm getting having to defend yourself. So is this may have been somebody around the party scene um, that she was trying to defend herself from, honestly. Um, if you are a little older and you look back to your years, if you're, you might remember some of the characters that uh, hung around the party scenes. And sometimes you could find some people that you wouldn't choose to hang out with again in your life. You know, the you, scary characters out there. And that's what I get with this. I think it was through an older man that maybe hung out with some of the younger kids. I mean, she was like 17 and, and, and younger, like 20 year olds, this kind of thing. But I feel like this guy's like in his thirties at the time or maybe even a little older. That's the second time I've gotten an older male that is the main character behind it. Um, I'm getting the King of Wands and the card of hope with the star. And this could be some member of her family um, that's hoping that she will, her, or her remains will be found. That's what I feel there. Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Well, this is action taken by a man. It feels like he's, there's something secreted. There's something hidden and there's a male here. Maybe this is another, I think there's a few people that know who this, who did this. And maybe this man's going to say something because this energy is pushing forward. He's, he might cash in information. He kind of seems like that type and that secret is with the five of pentacles. To me, this is leaving her outside. This is, um, somebody being responsible for her decline. This is also somebody that, that themselves may not be doing well now. As time has gone on, maybe if, if somebody experiences some health issues, they might be inclined to find their conscience. 
I got this this card too earlier, the six of swords and the four of um, pentacles. This this is ha having possession of her and I think taking her further out, further afield than where she was taken from. And again, I think that they will get some solid information. Then I see change with the Wheel of Fortune and I do get the Hermit. That to me is almost the feeling of searching, maybe looking in an area. So that kind of gives me the feeling maybe somebody's going to say something where they think she might be. There's a decision and I think they might be successful in finding something where a successful choice is made. The world is successful. This is a completion. This is the end. So maybe they'll know what happened to her at the end of the day. I don't know that they're going to recover her. And I'm getting a, a, the chariot. There is something, you know, definitely taken with the vehicle, definitely further, further out. And I do get a sense of there is some kind of successful completion here and not just somebody got away with this, but I think they're going to, at some point in the, in the years that are, and hopefully sooner, they're going to start to, it, it, the case could heat up. They could get some info. People could start talking. Um, and they could go and look and find some result. There's some kind of help that's being offered here with the Six of Pentacles and with the Page of Cups. And they may not take it too seriously, but I feel like this information that someone's going to give is helpful and it, it might just be a bit of information the four of swords and the hanged man this to me is her having been in one place for a long time and that i think it's possible that she could be found um but she could be covered over with something or in a container or uh, earth. Um, but I'm getting outdoors and I'm getting a natural area, the trees. I think this also indicates her remains would be pretty much skeletonized. But I think that they could still find some chance. But there is, it does show the delay in this as well. Um, this is like partnerships, friendships, maybe friends, and the sun. There is something that is going to be exposed or revealed uh, by those close to her as well. There is something perhaps with finding uh, her remains eventually. There's teamwork in finding it. More than one person also, I think, at, makes sense, at work to eventually, I think, possibly find her. Just looking at the Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands. This, this is, to me, like people know your business. There are people that know this person's business in this small community. Um, 
And there's a watchfulness as well. It's creepy. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Let me just see. The Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There's real regret. There's real loss here. Um, a loss of... Uh, and a great deal of emotion around it. Um, and I, I feel like this is regretting opening up to somebody or regretting becoming vulnerable with someone because they went for the jugular. They, they knew that she was not protected by family and on her own. It was, that's just the feeling that's just come to me. And oddly enough, and then we get the family card with the 10 of pentacles and we get the nine of cups. So I think at the end of the day, this could be resolved and her family might end up knowing what happened to her. They might even be able to recover uh, remains of some kind, but I think it's ahead of us yet. And I will just leave that there because it, it could be a couple of years. It could be a couple months. I don't know, but that's what I've got. And um, I hope the best for her family and friends. And um, I feel like she is no longer with us and has been on the other side and is okay, is okay there. So anyway, I'll leave that there. Thank you for listening. And if you appreciate readings like this, can you give me a thumbs up? Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.